Uh, we are so glad that you have joined us here tonight for an incredible event. We've been looking forward to this for a long time. Belt University and the Renaissance Program and widespread worship. Uh, you guys, this has been an incredibly challenging year, to say the least. Uh, things have looked different. Uh, we've had to do things differently as far as what God has called us to do here at the university with our students and uh, with our program. But tonight, uh, we're going to not think about any of that stuff. Uh, we're going to join our voices. We're going to join our talents together, and we're going to worship together. Uh, because I believe that that's what God has called us to do, not just with music, but in every moment of our lives. So we're glad you're here. Um, there's a few things that, that we would love for you to do as the evening progresses. Uh, one of those, go ahead right now and, and like this post, like this video, share it so that everyone in your news feed can see it. We want as many people to experience this with us tonight as possible. Uh, so share it. Um, and then uh, one of our production guys just a few minutes ago uh, was telling me that uh, if you will, this might sound crazy, but if you will actually uh, post some of those like praise emojis, like the hands, um, that will actually get more people involved tonight. And that's what we want. Uh, we have people all over the country right now uh, watching. Uh, a special shout out tonight to uh, Brother Nathaniel and uh, Anna Matthews out in Lubbock, Texas. Guys, I've seen you share our post. I know you guys are watching. Thank you for your support. Um, this is gonna be incredible. We've got uh, some, some great things in store tonight. We've got some very special messages from some of our best friends across the country, pastors that we visit each and every year. Uh, we've got what I think are the most incredibly talented young people this side of heaven standing right behind me, getting ready to sing their hearts out and play their hearts out. Uh, but most of all tonight, we have the Spirit of God right here living in us. And I pray tonight that you experience this worship uh, that we talk about, uh, that you experience all of the, the goodness of the Lord. Uh, he is faithful. He is exactly who he promised us he would be. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Through the good, through the bad, he is right there. Uh, so that's who we're here to worship tonight. Again, we thank you for being with us, and I hope that you not only enjoy tonight, but most of all that you're blessed uh, as a result of it. So before we get started, let me lead us in a word of prayer, and then I'm going to turn it over uh, to the Renaissance Choir, okay? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we love you. We worship you tonight because of who you are. Not necessarily because of what you do, although all the things that you do are amazing. Um, but God, if, if you had done nothing but given us your son, that would have been plenty. Uh, you're worthy of our praise. You're worthy of every note that's played or sung. God, we, we commit this evening to you. I pray that it's not just a concert. I pray that it is exactly uh, what you would want. God, I pray that everything glorifies you. Um, God, I thank you for these students. I thank you for their talents. But most of all, I, I praise you that they are willing to use them to glorify your name. Uh, so Lord, as we go through this evening and, and we hear songs, uh, we hear messages from different pastor friends of ours, uh, we hear uh, some good, just motivational stuff. Uh, God, I pray that you're in the center of it all and that everything that we do honors and glorifies you. So, uh, Jesus, we just, we love you and, and we worship you. And in the midst of suffering, in the midst of trials, we worship you. On the mountaintops, we worship you. And everywhere in between, God, we worship you. You are holy, you are incredible, and we are absolutely nothing without you. Lead us, guide us, direct us. 
in all things tonight. It's in the most awesome and holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that I pray. Amen. Now, help me welcome the Bethel University Renaissance Choir. Psalm 63 and 3 tells us your love is everlasting. It's an everlasting love. And because your love is better than life, I'm going to open up my mouth and I'm going to give you praise. That's what we're here to do tonight. Come on, choir, let's sing it. Love is everlasting. It's an everlasting love. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mercy is as new as every rising of the sun. And your loving kindness, loving kindness, better than life. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's sing about His grace.
Then a light from heaven filled my soul He bathed my heart in love And he cleansed and made me whole I tell you Doubts and fears Your eyes be filled with tears But Jesus, he watches day and night You just go to him and pray And everything will be alright, I tell you Just a little talk Just a little talk with Jesus I tell you Just a little talk with Jesus Is it right? A little talk
of Union Cumberland Presbyterian Church in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm also a Bethel graduate. My whole family is graduated from Bethel, and we're thankful for a great school. But I want you to know that a few years ago, they started a new program called Renaissance. We went to hear them, and wow, we were so excited. They were great. We could not wait to invite them to come to Union Church. They came. They brought the drama team, they brought the quartet, they brought the uh, bluegrass band. I'm telling you what, we had a service. And our folks said, wow, they're great, let's get them back. We got them back the next October and they've been with us every year except this past year in October. I want you to know, our church loves Renaissance and we cannot wait to invite them back for a great time. We are so grateful to be here, first of all, in a church sanctuary together in Huntington, Tennessee at the First Baptist Church. So the choir and I and all of these incredible people uh, making this happen tonight, we want to say a big shout out and thank you um, to this church for allowing us to have this space. So come on, choir, let's, let's thank Huntington First Baptist. And we also want to take a moment to thank all of you at home who are tuning in to this incredible evening of widespread worship. We have literally been waiting an entire year to share our gifts and our hearts and our talents for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we want to invite you guys not to be spectators tonight because that is so easy to do when you're staring at a screen. We do it all the time and we're inundated with it. But tonight we want you to stand and to sing and to clap along with us and not be spectators but participate in worship. And that is kind of our number one rule with the Renaissance Choir. As we travel, we always want you guys to enjoy this experience alongside of with us. So put it in the chat tonight where you're joining us from. We'd love to hear from you. We're so um, just in awe of this opportunity, and we're so grateful that we could be here tonight with you. Um, 
You know, I was just thinking about the song that we just sang in Old Church Choir and how it says that nothing will steal our joy and how crazy of a year it has been um, for us in Renaissance and all of us with our families and illnesses and COVID and all of those things. But man, isn't God good through those times? Isn't he good? Yeah, like, and I was looking at the, the lyric of our next song and I was, I was asking God to reveal something in my heart about that lyric tonight. Um, and the, the lyric is revive us again. And so I wanted to look into what that definition meant. And the, the word revive means to restore to life. And I believe wholeheartedly God has taken us through this season for a reason. And he wanted us to be restored to life and to be renewed. And so tonight, I want us to make that our prayer together as we sing from our homes, maybe from our church pews, wherever you're joining us from tonight, we would love for you to stand and sing Revive Us again. Would you guys like to do that? Choir, are you ready? Let's sing that. Let's sing that old hymn. We praise thee, O God. We praise thee, O God. Heavenly Father, I come, don't have much to offer, Holy One, I'm humbled by all that you've done, oh, and even though I walk through the valley, see, I don't have to fear, no. You have called me from my soul to gladness, and I have it. What more could I want? So raise my faith a little higher. Set my spirit on fire. Lord, we're asking you to move.
them call me from my sorrow to gladness and I have you. What more could I want? So raise my faith a little higher. Set my Renaissance crew, Clay March Banks from Gainesville, Georgia at Montgomery Memorial Baptist Church. I want to come to you for just a moment. I want to encourage you in the faith. You guys have encouraged us. You have strengthened our music program, our church as a whole. We have host homes that have just absolutely just, uh, guys, they have just bragged on you over and over again how great you are. Um, how respectful of time and how respectful of their things at their home. Most importantly, you're anointed. And that is to not be taken lightly. You guys bring the word through song when you come. You do it fantastic too. I'm telling you, these guys are the real deal. You're some of my favorite people. And I cannot wait to see you back at our church in Gainesville, Georgia. Be encouraged. Keep fighting the fight. Keep living holy. Keep living separated from the world. God is going to do great things through every single one of you guys. Keep the faith. We love you.
the earth trembled and the tomb began to shake and like a lightning from heaven the stone was rolled away and as dead men the guards they all stood from the dead, I, I believe that we serve a God who looks down at, at us from heaven and he says to his sons and daughters, arise, my love. I believe he wants his children to hear that tonight. Whatever you're slumbering from, whatever you're struggling with, we have a future in him because he arose, because he lives. Do you guys believe that? And I don't know what it is tonight that may be plaguing you. I don't know what it is that might be plaguing some of our students up on this stage, but he's saying to you, because I live, you can face tomorrow. I hold your future in the palm of my hand. I've fought the battle, I've won, and I have I am the victory tonight. So let's claim that. Let's sing Because He Lives Together. Because He Lives. Let's claim it. I can face tomorrow because He lives. Sing all fear is gone. Be 
Hey, Bethel University and Renaissance Choir. This is Monty Schenkel from Concord Baptist Church in sunny central Missouri on a very cold day. Looking back over the years, we've had such a great time when Renaissance Choirs come to worship with us at Concord. And it just so happened that last year, 2020, on March the 1st, you all joined us for a great day of worship. And who would have known that the whole world would shut down immediately after? Well, we had a great day and you all went into shutdown. We went in shutdown, but praise the Lord, we're coming through it. And I just want to say thank you for your years of ministry and we look forward to having you back. Could you have imagined a year ago today that we would be here as we are right now? Some of us separated, many of us isolated, apart from families, apart from church, apart from the things that we have known to be familiar to our lives, to give us comfort and to give us peace. Here we are. Yet the Lord is doing a new thing. God is making a way. He's showing us a new reality, something that we could never comprehend within our lifetimes, that He is still at work, that He's still among us, and He's doing a great and mighty work. The book of Isaiah tells us in Isaiah 43 that behold, I am doing a new thing and you don't understand it. But we don't understand how we got here. We don't understand what's around us, but we can understand one thing that God is with us and that he is working amongst us for his glory and for our good. We're thankful for God in this moment and we're thankful that you have joined us in the midst of a new way of, of sharing the gospel with one another. As we step and we worship the Lord in this setting, we pray that we can glorify Christ and that we can make his word known to as many people as possible. And we pray that it comes through this new format. And we pray that you at home can worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. We know that in the New Testament, John the Baptist says, prepare you the way of the Lord. We're called into that work too. We're preparing a way and we know we serve a God that is the one and true way maker. So worship with us as we praise the Lord.
see it, you're working. And even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. And even when I don't see it, you're working. And even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop.
only good, he is great. He is so great. He is so great that he brought us all together here tonight. He's, he had you scrolling through Facebook probably, and you clicked on this, and what you thought was going to be a concert it turned into a worship experience for you tonight. And that is what he does, and that is incredible. And you know what else, Jakiah? He brought us all here together. All of these students, all of these students are here together uh, with Bethel Renaissance to be in this incredible program. And we've got a lot of people who uh, make this happen. And we want you guys to know just a little bit more about it. If you know somebody who would love to be a part of this program, singing, acting, playing an instrument, or even incredible production, uh, we want to make that known tonight. But you know what? What the most important thing that we need to make known tonight is the greatest man of all, Jesus Christ. So let's do that. The greatest man. Come on.
we want to give some shout outs here to these people on this stage. First of all, over here on the keys, all the way from Anniston, Alabama, we have Mr. Garrett Anderson. Over here on the organ and playing a little synth all the way from Covington, Tennessee, is Mr. Chase Joyner. Over here, rocking it on the acoustic, all the way from Heron, Illinois, we have Mr. Caleb Yule. Over here to my left is uh, his, he and his brother, excuse me, they're freshmen this semester, brand new to the group, killing it, are Will and Jake Reeder. Y'all give it up for him. Over here thumping the bass for us from Knoxville, Tennessee, we have Mr. Adrian Mastin. And by the way of the Virgin Islands and Chattanooga, Tennessee, back here kicking it on the drums, we have Mr. Nimani Thomas. Give it up one more time for your incredible rhythm section choir. Come on. We also have some incredible students behind the cameras, behind all of our production equipment, our sound equipment. We would be remiss tonight if we didn't mention them so that you could hear us tonight loud and clear and see our faces. So thank you so much, Bethel Renaissance Production. And for all of us with the Renaissance Choir and the Renaissance staff, we thank you again. And we're gonna close this out one more time because ain't nobody like our God. We can come up here all day and give thank yous, but we're gonna sing it again. Nobody, nobody.